Holy sh! Welcome to the apocalypse. <sighs> Month five. I don't even know anymore. Things have been just as crazy as as they uh, have been for the past 2020. The elections are upon us. Uh, that's gonna be a fucking hoot. Flu flu season's upon us. Hurricane season. Riots. Mayhem. Looting. That's just a commonplace thing now. School starting. Thank God I don't have any fucking kids. Holy shit. Dodge that fucking bullet. Uh, I haven't left the house except literally a handful of times. Literally five times. I have footage of all the times that I left the house I, because if they've been that monumental. I've actually filmed them all. This was the first one. I broke quarantine. I'm out. I'm out of the house. I'm at the doctor's, but I can't go into the doctor's because I'm in, obviously immunocompromised. So I've got to, um, I'm waiting outside for the doctor to come to me. The doctor has got to come to me and I've, they've got to draw blood from the car. The second time was to get blood extracted. The third time, that was to go in to get an infusion. The fourth time, we saw a concert. It sounds like Vivaldi. The most in public we've been in five months. It's kind of kind of nerve-wracking. Pretty good seats. The only seats. Well, I brought a beer. So it's like we're actually at a concert. The fifth time I got blood again, and it was raining. But we've been keeping ourselves busy around here. I spend way too much time in this basement, and I've created this uh, this new Instagram account called Rob Zart. Pretty fucking clever. I've started getting fucking real nuts over there. Really just posting just pictures and art and photographs and really just a whole bunch of stuff that, I, that I've been working on just throughout my whole life. That I've, uh, I've realized that if I never like posted and got out there, it would have been a goddamn tragedy. That's what I'm working on now. Some of the things are just, I've are just fucking sheer madness. I'll show them to you. This, there's better explanations of things on the page, but a lot of them are like from real fucked up dreams. This one I made on like a, the celebration of, of like my, of like my death anniversary, kind of like a sonogram. And there's like this, is a funeral tag from like my mom's funeral that I've been saving. This is like a little like a like a little art show because I don't have a fucking art fucking gallery to fucking have anything. This is like a my take on like the news, like a see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil kind of deal. Because it's just so much fucking shit on the news. It's just all it's fucked up. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what they hear. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the is going on anymore? Do you? It's fucking madness. This. They were giving me all these fucking pills. I take like 13 goddamn pills a day. I don't need more than that. I don't even know. And then they changed them on me and I thought my brain was fucking exploding one day. So I, I drew this <laughs> in, in response. I felt like my brain was like a Rolodex and I just kept on like fritzing out and going fucking crazy. And then I I had all these crazy dreams about like these, like these like crazy, angry fucking buildings. I, I, maybe I showed these to you before, but like these buildings have been fucking, these buildings have been haunting me for years, but I don't know. There's, there's a lot, there's a fucking lot going on in, in this fucking, there's a lot going on in this in solitude. These I kind of showed you before. These are like maps. I've done like a Threadbanger video on these before. These are kind of older, but these are kind of like maps. Very intricate maps of like cities and stuff. I'm working on one right now. I'm so fucking close. I've literally been working on this painting for fucking 10 years. And I'm so close to having it done. It's Paris. These are, this is just like blocks and blocks and city blocks. And then this is just the last bit of it. I'm just like filling it in with like just a tiny little Sharpie paint pen. And I just like fucking like I sit at night on the couch 
watching fucking Sex in the City with Corinne. <laughs> Uh, God damn. I have seen Sex in the City so many goddamn times, but it's fine because I got the fu I got I can draw cities. I it's just in, it's in the background. Oh my god. That's what that's it's the goddamn pandemic. Uh anyways, I got that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that and growing a mohawk. Uh, I don't know if you saw the Threadbanger video that I did over on the uh, over on Threadbanger, but I cut my hair uh, after a hundred days, uh, and I started growing a mohawk. And that is that's getting up here. It was at three and a half inches. However long ago that I posted that video, I got a tape measure here. I'm gonna measure it for you live, taped on camera, taped. Ha! Ah, you get that? You get it? Let's see. This is very exciting. I haven't done this. I haven't measured it. It's very hard to do this with like a, without a mirror. I feel like I need a mirror. I mean, this is kind of a mirror. Not really. <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm not, I'm not gonna go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna measure this bathroom. In a mirror. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. It's only four inches. Huh. I was for sure this was gonna be a five inch pandemic mohawk by now. Oh well. I didn't put any product in it for you. But what, is it, what does that look like? How does that look? Oh, oh, and also, you know, because now I'm a, a fucking artist, all of a sudden, I, I'm collabing, not, no, no longer on YouTube, because you can't do that on YouTube anymore, you can't collab. Uh, I found an artist in my neighborhood here in Asheville. What we're doing is we're dropping off art to each other, and, and we're painting onto each other's canvases. This is the only person that I've been in contact with or in the past six months, besides Corinne. That's Justin, everybody. We're just going over some, uh, the collabathon. By the way, this is what we're working on. Collab number one is finished. Justin, right there. <laughs> he did this. Uh, I'll show you the picture. Boom, cut to that. That's what it originally looked like before. Just that. And then I did all this fucking garbage around it. Now, Justin's gonna take this over and what are you gonna do with it? Party. <laughs> Feel good about it. <laughs> uh, make some prints of it and sell yes. it at your store, Horse and Hero, which by the way, you can follow on Instagram uh, here-ish. <laughs> um, and then now we, uh, ooh, it's, it's getting dark, just like this painting. Now Justin's gonna take this back home and he's gonna add some magic to it. I don't know. That's to come. That's what's happening in the art world right here in Asheville. We got we got a new video over on Threadbanger where we where we made we made a cat video. You know, because that's yeah, it's always fun to make a cat video. Definitely suggest that you watch that. I will leave a link to that amongst all the other links down below. But just wanted to give you an, uh, an update. Uh, just wanted to let you know what was going on here. Uh, we're still alive. Things are still happening. There's another video. I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm pretty sure that by the time that this is up, it might be up. It is the Jello quarantine Jello video. I'm probably gonna film it. It's probably gonna be up. It's probably gonna happen. God damn it, I want it to happen. Check all the links out down below. I I wish you the best during this apocalyptic time. May not be apocalyptic now, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit. I wish you the best out there. Subscribe if you would like, if you haven't done that already. And I will see you around here next time.